Hey guys, it's May May, and I wanted to introduce you to our latest Stamp Club stamp set. This is the June Stamp Club set, and I am absolutely over the moon about this set, and I will show you why. When I start sampling it, you'll see why. But this set is called Made With Love, and the name is right here on the little package now, which I love. Here's what's different. My um, manufacturer's doing that for me. So what they're doing is making it so that when you put this into your binders or how you're storing them, the name will be on the little um, acetate cover, which I love. So check this out. This stamp set is made for gift tags, cards, anything that you want to put a personal touch about, you made this item. So if you want somebody to know, hey, I made this in my kitchen, you know, um, for you, by me, from our, you'll just see as we start to play with so many different things, but let's go through it and I'll tell you what all everything says. I'm trying to keep the glare off. Let me get it there. There we go. This first little part is the roof of a house with some smoke coming out the chimney. I just thought that was so cute for like homemade or from my home to yours, and I'll show you how that works soon. There's a little bow. I've had so many people ask me about bows to do stamps for bows, so I just did this small one. But if you're interested in a bow stamp set, let me know and I'll do a bigger one. And this is uh, measuring cups, and this is what's so funny. I love how these little measuring cups come out or came out, and the reason is... I did this graphic based off of some measuring cups that I have owned in the past that I don't have anymore, but they were shaped like this, and I loved them. And listen, they were actually cup spoons, which I love. Like, this is one cup, half a cup, a quarter cup. They actually have that in there. And the reason I loved them was just the shape of them. I don't know. I loved them, and so I miss them, and uh, I thought I would do that. So now I'll have them forever in my little crafting. Then we have the words kitchen, homemade, uniquely, one of a kind, a little pair of scissors, which I think are precious. Home to yours, handcrafted, handmade, something special. A gift from our, from my, from thee. Just is all by itself. With care, by me. This is with love. Made to, of, and for you. So there's so many things you can do with it. We're going to stamp this out real quick, and I'm just going to show you some ways to mix the sentiments up. Then I'm going to show you some samples that I made so you can get started on your crafting when your set arrives. So if you are a member of my stamping club, my stamp club, this would have gone on into the mail for you yesterday, and so you should be seeing your set really, really soon. Um, the other thing, if you want to be a member of the stamp club, here's how it works really, really quick. You just go to the link I provide below, which goes to patreon.com. You sign up there at the Stamp Club by pledging um, the amount it takes for the Stamp Club. Now, up until yesterday, I was able to offer free shipping for international as well, but that has really gotten so expensive because I've had such um, outpouring of support from you guys, and I appreciate it. So what I've done is I have two different options. You have $11.99 for the Stamp Club with free shipping for all your stamps from the Stamp Club, as well as a free code for your free shipping for anything you purchase from my store. And then if you're international, starting yesterday, it's $13.49 a month, and that's basically 50% off your, your um, shipping. And you also get a code for 50% off your shipping from anything from the store. So basically, I tried to give you the same discount that I'm giving everybody else. I just had to kind of do it a little bit differently. So all that's explained for you on the Patreon page. And if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. I try to answer as quick as I possibly can. Let's start stamping. Enough talking, Amy. Start stamping. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I told you that because that change did happen yesterday. So, when you get your stamp sets home, if well, let me just tell you what I do. When I get a stamp set home, the first thing I do is take it out of the package, peel off this backer, and I stamp like crazy because I just want to play with them because I've waited on them forever. And this stamp set in particular, um, because of the stamp club, I'm designing these so much further in advance now than I used to. I also want to show you this. Because these are text um, stamps, when you pull them off of the package, if you just go straight to your block, sometimes you can get a wiggle, like it won't be lined up really straight. So what I do is I just drop my um, stamp with the stamp side down and the solid side up, and then I just put my block to it. That way I know it's nice and straight, because sometimes we can wiggle it with, in our hands. So I get these guys out, and I play with them, because really, I will have designed these two or three months ago, and just been waiting and waiting for them to get in so I could play with them. So this is home to yours, and I've had a lot of people comment on how I move my stamps around when I touch down. Let me show you why I do that. 
I rock them slightly forward and slightly back and to each side. And that way I get a better image all the way around. I don't end up with the little um, naked spots here and there. I'm going to zoom you guys in because you can't even see that. That's much better. Okay, so this is home to yours. And now I'm just going to, now to clean these guys, you have a couple options. Clean them with the baby wipe. I just clean them with a towel. I actually have a little lint-free towel that I use, and I just wipe that ink off. So do that either way. Just make sure you clean them, because um, in the past I've been really bad with my stamps and not cleaned them, and I have paid for it. So let's see. Let's do the little house on top of that. This is what I love about this stamp set. It is a stamp set that you can customize every single saying. If you've made something in your kitchen or if you've made something from your home, you can customize this. And I'm going to put this little house up here. Now, I probably will not get this straight because I'm having to lean over to do this, but you can you can get right over it. I'm just trying to keep this in the camera shot for you guys, so I'm not going to be straight, I'm sure. So there's the little house above it. And let's see. Let's get from my... And put that on. So I just drop that down and let it kind of be what it is. Then I think I'll do... From my uh, here, or do I want to do it here? Okay, I'm just being silly. I've not tried doing this this way. Let's just see. We're just playing. So from my home to yours. I don't know if I love it on the angle, but you can do whatever you want to do, right? You can play with them any old way. Let's do some more. So we'll move this out of the way a little bit. And let's do the house again. I love it. Let's do a couple with the house. And I'm going to show you some samples that I did too. Do the house here. Just like so. Then I'm going to go back to the, I'm going to do from our, since I did, since I stamped from my already. So from our, so ink this dude up. So from our, I wish I was over the straight, straight on top of it, but you'll get the point if it's a little crooked. And that one is a little crooked, not too bad. From our and could do kitchen. I'm going to go back to that home to yours because I want to show you what I want it to look like because I totally should have put that in a different spot. So drop that on the paper, let it straighten out, then ink it. You don't have to drop it on your paper, just drop it flat. From our home to yours. Just like that. And then I think I'll add with love. You also have with care, um, different little sentiments. So with love. So you can be really, really specific with what you do with your stance. Isn't that so cute? Can you imagine this done on a tag? You'll wait. Just wait till you see my samples. Okay, now let's do one with the little um, measuring spoons because I love them. Move this to the side. And I just love these little guys. They are so fun to do. And they're very fine lined. So one thing I'll tell you is you don't want to use a really, really juicy stamp with these fine line images like this because it'll kind of grow up into the stamp, kind of get up in there, and it doesn't let you get as good of a image because they're very fine lined. Can you see that? Okay, so there's the kitchen. Or that's the <laughs> measuring spoons. Now let's get, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What do I want to use? Let's flip it over and let's use... Let's see, made for you. Could do that. Huh. Okay, let's use kitchen. This is the part you have to think about. And let's do from my again. All right, so we'll move kitchen out of the way for a second. Bring from my in here. You could use from our, whichever one fits. Maybe maybe your family likes to bake at Christmas time and um, everybody gets in the kitchen and works together. Wouldn't that be cute if you did that? Oh my gosh, I, this the possibilities. From my kitchen. And this one's kind of wavy. And I did that on purpose because I wanted it to be just kind of, you know, loose like that. So see how that word is kind of wavy? I like it. From my kitchen. And let's do... From my kitchen. Hmm. What do I want to do next? To you? Or, oh, I know, just for you. Let's do that. 
just for you. So there's just. So I'll put it over here. I cannot see y'all. I'm leaning so far back. Just. Good deal. And I'm just going to pick this up on the other side of my block while I got it. I'll clean them in a second. Ink that dude up. Let's do for you right here. Look how cute that is. I cannot stand it. I'm telling you, I think this is absolutely my favorite stamp set yet. Um, those are the kitchen ones. Now, let's look again at what they say. And you guys can play. And, of course, I want to see what you guys create once you get your stamp set. So, let me zoom out and we'll look at these one more time. So, I took them out of the package to kind of get rid of some of that glare. Let's see if that will help a little bit. So, again, you've got... Kitchen, homemade, one of a kind, uniquely, home to yours, the scissors. I didn't stamp those for you. I should have. And the bow. Handmade, handcrafted, something special. There's so many cute little things. Now, if you are watching this and you're wondering about being able to purchase these for the public or if you have friends you want to buy them for as gifts or anything like that, you'll be able to purchase these um, after June the 12th. That's when the regular ones are scheduled to come in. So I won't have many of them and they will go really fast. So if you're interested in getting more sets of them, that's when you need to look for them in the store after June the 12th. So I promised you some samples and these are just ones that I made up and I cannot wait to see what you guys do. But look at this little guy, this little tag. It is so cute. It is um, just some orange paper with one of them that we stamped together a while ago. I went ahead and put that one together with some Becker's twine and ribbon. And isn't that cute for a bag or a tag to put on a jar or a gift bag or anything? I love that one. And one of my favorites because of the color scheme. You guys know this is one of my favorites here. The red, white, and black with the hound's tooth and some red. And then this one says, from my kitchen just for you. I love this. This reminds me of something cute to put on like a mason jar to have it hanging off. Love that one. And this one is a little bit of a different idea. This is like something you could just put into a package or uh, maybe you had something you wrapped in a box and you wanted to put this inside of it. Maybe seal some tissue paper down and put this on top of it. Just something to say. Um, something special made just for you. And I used colored ink on that one. And on the, on the scissors, I did some selective inking where I just inked the handles different than the blades. So that's why that one looks a little bit different. I'll hold that still real quick so you can see it. I love that look. And um, some more tags. Look at this one. I like this one. I like the colors of this one. This is something special from my home to yours. And this is one that I did with just some craft tags. And then I just played around stamping and then put it and then, you know, mounted it onto these on the colored paper. So I like that one. And then this one I used some deco tape, which I haven't played with deco tape much, but these pieces on the end are deco tape. Now what makes deco tape different than washi tape? This is more of a plastic shiny feel or washi is more of a paper feel. So there's that and then the little ribbon and some twine holding that together. Okay so this one has a Christmassy feel and this is some Christmas ribbon at the top with a little white bow and it says a gift handcrafted with care for you with the little bow on it there too. So there's that one. Now let me show you another way to use them. Recognize these guys, recognize this guy, the little monkey that we did not long ago. Check this out. On the back at the bottom, it now says, uniquely made by me. And then, wouldn't it be cute if you signed it? Wouldn't it be cute like if you, you know, may may on the side? That would be so cute. So there's that. And not to be outdone, remember the little B card we did, the slider card? This one says, handcrafted by me. And then you could sign it. I think it'd be super cute. Like, let me get a pen. Not a blue one. Let's use a black one. And then we can just write I'm the worst with my handwriting, my own word, my own name, I'm the worst. Okay. So you can just sign it. Isn't that cute as it can be? I love it. I think you guys can do so much with this stamp set. Probably a billion times more than what I did with it, because you guys are so creative and I want to see what you do. So the stamp set, let me bring it over. I took it out of the wrapper so that it wouldn't glare too bad. I'll stick it back on there so you can see it. This is the stamp set. You'll be getting this in the mail. Like I said, these went out yesterday, and I hope you guys love it as much as I do. I could not wait for it to get here. And tell me how you like the sneak peek. If we keep doing the sneak peek on the Patreon, like I'll mail the stamp set out, and then the day after that, give you guys a sneak peek so you know what's coming. So let me know what you think about that. And this video is only available on Patreon right now. And then once these become available in the store, I'll do another video for, for the public to be able to purchase it. So there you go, guys. Handmade. Actually, this one's called Made with Love, and it's coming to you as we speak. And as soon as you get it, I want to see what you do with it. Thanks so much for your support, guys. I really appreciate it. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.